hello, Brian Bush here. This is my standard, well, universal safe catching kit for snakes. Comprises a hook, triangular frame hoop bag. It provides physical barrier between the catcher and the snake. And a lot of people remark how short the handle is. Keep in mind that the snake doesn't reason. He doesn't determine where the handle ends and where the hand starts. If he's going to bite anything, he bites whatever's moving in his face. If you want to extend the handle, knock the end bolt out, and you can use PVC to any length you like, and especially to facilitate the removal of snakes and maybe lizards from dewatering trenches. But the handle is perfect. It's balanced. It allows you to access these animals under tables and that it works really well. The bag is long, and it's long for two reasons. You don't know how big the snake's going to be that you're called out to catch. It might be two metres long, you want a reasonable bag. It might only be 30 centimetres. This bag works just as well. But it's also long to facilitate tying. Each kit is provided with a tie, and you can add a few extra ties. And if you've got this gear around, always check if it's several people using the same set of gear but the ties are replaced. Nothing's worse than getting out there catching a the snake and you've got nothing to secure the bag. But uh, if I want to tie this bag, once I've caught the animal, the bag is laid on the ground using the animal's weight. I'm right-handed, I flip the bag out to the right, put the shaft across it. That shaft is up near the frame. My foot on the shaft is close to the bag with the ball of the foot on the shaft and the heel on the ground. This allows me to vary the weight to pull this bag through. Uneven ground, I can swing that foot forward just for double safety. Because what we want to do is isolate the snake to the bottom of the bag. I'm looking here, not out there. I can't see the snake. I can drag this through. So what we're doing is pushing the snake to the bottom of the bag, isolating it there with the shaft. Now we can access the bag. Before you grab hold of the bag, it always pays to double check. Just in case his head's up this end, if you grab hold of the bag and feel him under your hand, I bet you get a funny look on your face. Fold the bag over itself and then tie it. So you need a reasonable distance. So you've got to drag this bag through so the snake is isolated to the bottom of the bag, but a reasonable distance so you can tie the bag properly. And you've got to fold the bag over itself to tie it because if you just pull it in like that, if the snake's in the bag for any length of time, it'll work its way through. Always fold the bag over itself to secure it. Too easy <coughs> to store the gear. Just put the hook there, the shaft parallel with the handle of the bag, and then pull the whole lot together, tie it together firmly with your bag store it and it's all together ready for the next time. No worries. Thanks very much.